Hi everybody, this is my overview report for January the 11th, a week off. Let's have a look what's going on. We do have a new moon, we love new moons, you're going to say just open, open everything up for a new start, new beginning, and it is in Capricorn. So Capricorn is um, very organized, hello every, all you Capricorns, all my fellow Capricorns. And it just helps at this start of the year, particularly with business. So it's a time to really get your goals down, goals on all areas of your life, but particularly what you want to do career-wise is a great time to just get more clarity of what you want to achieve for this year. Um, you know, next five years if you want, but good time just to do 2021. Um, Uranus will go come out of its retrograde and it's in Taurus so things that have been maybe on hold can come together now but keep your schedule flexible because it can be all of a sudden so a development can come out of the blue that you weren't expecting to happen right now so hence you know keep it a, a little bit flexible. There are um, some s squares like at the start of the week first we have and before we get onto the squares we have a conjunction between Jupiter and Mercury so this is in the sign of Aquarius Jupiter being the planet of abundance and expansion and Mercury being um, communication creativity so uh, that this is great because it once again setting your goals and getting things clear and gaining clarity at this time of the year is really powerful and positive to do and so with Mercury um, and Jupiter with Jupiter being abundance and expansion and Mercury is a thinking planet so it really helps you to get your thoughts clear and to get them down on paper or electronically and just you know get them a, a little bit more concrete so you have good intentions to you know get going of the year then we go into um, still sort of in the first part of the year two s squares one with Mercury and Uranus and one with Saturn and um, Mars now the squares are more challenging aspects it doesn't mean to say that things aren't going to come together but you know it just means to say that some challenges can come up and be put in your path and it can really um, and you know particularly with the Mars Saturn it, Mars is impulsive Saturn likes to be more methodical so it just gives you time to take a step back and think through you know what is the outcome that you want to achieve and once you can get clear about your outcome then you can start working backwards and start putting action points you know into um, you know in, into your plan make a plan as they say if you fail to plan you plan to fail okay um, the Sun and um, Pluto in the sign of Capricorn are going to conjunct which means they're at the same degree really powerful energy this um, you know the Sun being our most powerful influence and Pluto being the planet of it's called the power planet and the planet of transformation it really helps you to step out of your comfort zone and, and move forward and taper take a step onto the unknown path okay um, and that's how we grow and evolve you know we we sort of feel the fear and do it anyway so this is a great aspect for that and, and then uh, Venus will try and a trine is like an easy passage so we you know we love the trines and that's between Venus and, and Uranus um, Venus in and it's the earth sign so it's an earth trine so it helps to ground things Venus of course is a governor governs love and money to put it you know just clearly so anything to do with relationships and all relationships depending on where it falls firstly in your solar chart which is what I'm looking at and then in your um, personal natal chart it's going to affect you in a different area of your life 
Um, the individual video reports for each sign are available over on my um, Star Daily Membership Program over on jenniferangel.com and that will go through of where these aspects are going to hit in your solar chart. Um, and, and then to finish off the week we've got uh, Jupiter is squaring uh, Uranus so another square not so bad with Jupiter but it does like highlight that um, you it helps you once again think about where you are where you want to be and make a course adjustment if need be okay good time of the year to do that okay so love luck and blessings to you and thanks for watching and we'll don't forget to tune in to the daily video blogs and we'll see you next week for the overview report bye for now